Well, it's summer. For many of you, that means vacation. But could you be guilty of spending more time planning the annual trip mm -hmm. than planning for your retirement? That's an interesting something to think about. Daryl Bryant is known as Omaha's retirement strategist. He's the president of D. Bryant Retirement Strategies and hosts his own radio show called Retirement Strategies Radio on KFAB right here in Omaha. Good morning, Daryl. How was your 4th of July? Good? Outstanding. Good yeah, mm -hmm. it's good. Loud. <laughs> no, it's we, still we, loud. In our neighborhoods, that's too. All my fingers, so that's, that's good. That's good. You know, we were talking about this. How many people plan more for their vacation than they do their retirement? I, I, I'm sure you see this all the time. Oh, yeah. You know what? There's a lot going on with retirement other than the um, shift uh, financially. You know, you, you start to have to be on a budget and all this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have never really had to do. But there really is, I was talking to a client just yesterday, as a matter of fact, about the psychological shift. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a really big deal to make that change into retirement. It's like, here we go. It's like almost like you're falling off a cliff and mm. there's no turning back, et cetera. And if you haven't prepared financially, obviously, um, or, or if, if you haven't prepared um, in terms of what you're going to do with your time, you know, what, what do I always want to do? You know, mm -hmm. do I want to take singing lessons or do I want to learn to fly or are we going to get an RV, you know, and then, and then if we did that, what would, be, what would the cost be and all mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But yeah, you ha there are some people who just won't retire because they don't have anything to do, you know, mm -hmm. when they get ready, you know, when they go and they know that. So they just keep on working. That's kind of a, well, not, not that fun. I but think people, speaking of fun, that's why you go on vacation is mm -hmm. because you need a break from the real world. Right. And we've got pictures of your recent vacation, Daryl. Oh, yeah. So this is your beautiful family. Yes. Um, right? You took everybody. Where did you go? This was Anguilla. Oh, my gosh. Believe it or not. And, Look at uh, that. We took a horse in the ocean there. That yeah, we water. took our horses with us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we took the horses. Yeah, the horses down there were already there. there. <laughs> <laughs> to me, yeah. this is like postcard material, Daryl. Did this you was, have the time of your lives? It was pretty neat. And, uh, you know, we were, we were, you know, shuffling along the street. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, I pulled those out of the ocean. Those came, all you? All by myself, yeah. You're I did. I'm, really? I'm serious. Are you serious? Somebody says, hey, what do you call, I forget what you call those. but uh, shells. Conks, yeah, yeah. Conks. conks. Well, I found a little nest of them down there. Oh, my God. Oh, so you only were find... You about diving or snorkeling? Or snorkeling. What? snorkeling. And you can see them, you know. But that it, is it, It'll wild. hurt your ears going down there. Yeah. That, that is, but, but where you went, I mean, you were, that's why people spend time planning those getaways. Yeah. Is because you look forward to it. You know, but Sarah did a great job. Scared. Yeah, Sarah, um, I have two daughters that work in the office with me mm -hmm. and one of my sons, too. And uh, Sarah planned a lot of that. She had the you know horseback riding all mm -hmm. squared away and you know a couple other things that we got to do and uh, there's a lot of planning that goes uh -huh. on to that I do find that people spend less time preparing for retirement than they that than they should for sure mm -hmm. it, it does take some planning to plan your life and and then put a price tag on that and then determine whether or not that's going to be affordable and sustainable and what if I live a long long time mm -hmm. you know so I feel like we're all we're constantly preparing though we're working you know I'm mm -hmm. working and, and I'm saving money uh, but at what point should we put that plan together to retire? Uh, because it takes a plan uh, yeah. to, to quit working and, and live off the money you've earned. Sure, that's a good question. Uh, you know, there are all kinds of charts and things that we show people. You know, what if you started at 25, 35, 45, and then began to save, et cetera. But you're talking primarily about the transition into retirement yeah, where, you know, we're getting serious, you mm -hmm. know. Um, if you haven't really got, uh, taken some time to go out to breakfast and you know about 10 years out and say okay really what are we trying to do here mm -hmm. what is the what's the lifestyle going to look like are we going to downsize uh, what about the property taxes etc mm -hmm. there's some unknowns we don't know where the kids are going to be and you know and there might be some travel that we're not anticipating maybe they're not going to be right here in Omaha mm -hmm. and all that kind of thing but you really need to start doing that about 10 years out mm -hmm. I would say and see where you are because then you still have time uh, it's like going to the doctor you know you catch something early Right. And you can fix it, yeah. right? So uh, start early, do some math, and uh, design a lifestyle uh, that you dream of, you know. And as I said uh, with a new uh, client yesterday, let's start with a Cadillac, you know. Mm -hmm. Let's start with a right. Bentley. And then and back your way into it. Yeah. How am I going to get there? If you can't afford all those parts, we'll just start mm -hmm. taking some off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you're talking about a comprehensive plan. All of those things right. that you just mentioned, what else might go into that plan? And I'm guessing it depends on the person who comes in and what their goals are, ultimately. Sure. And everybody's in a different situation. Yesterday we had one couple that has absolutely nothing but their own steam and their 401k. We've got mm -hmm. another uh, couple, wonderful uh, new uh, client that has uh, a, a variety of pensions, uh, you know, military um, and uh, Social Security and et cetera. Mm -hmm. Everybody's in a different situation when they go into retirement and, uh, and everybody has different desires. Mm -hmm. Now these folks, for example, had no idea what they could really afford to do. They, they had some dreams and as she said, I'm the spender, you know, he's the, he's the saver. And I said, well, let's figure out a way to spend some money here because, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you guys are in really, really good shape. So let's, 
let's design a life maybe that you couldn't even have imagined before yeah. and get out there and do some I stuff. I love that. Yeah. And what you're talking about is this comprehensive retirement plan. Mm -hmm. sure. I think you know a lot of us have financial advisors. Um, do you transition to a standard financial advisor to somebody like you who's nearing retirement to put that plan together, that comprehensive plan? <clears throat> That's a good question because I'll, I'll tell you what, there is a, there is a chasm in my industry of uh, it's just a big, there's a big shift when you go into retirement and retirement calculations and the retirement transition is very complicated. Uh, it's much easier to work with somebody who's 35 or 45 and hey, if, if you have money, save it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, uh, you know, you do everything you can, right? As you get closer to retirement, we're talking about coordinating social security and maximizing that pension plans. How long is my money going to last? Mm -hmm. We're going to run into different types of risk that you never thought of before, longevity risk, another risk that uh, we don't have time for, but it's called sequence of return risk and things. So this is much more complicated work. Mm -hmm. Strongly encourage you to use a specialist, and most of the people when they come into the office say, I get, you know, they listen to the radio show, et cetera, I get it, you know, my guy's not understanding that I'm going into a new life phase here and what I'm looking for, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to kill the world here anymore. Mm -hmm. I wanna know where I am in terms of a relaxed retirement where I can just go to the mailbox, pick up a check, mm -hmm. jump back in the RV and keep going. You no, know, bring it back that's to, a different thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And back to vacations here, if you're enlisting the help of a travel agent to plan that, it makes sense to work with a financial advisor to plan your retirement, doesn't it? So we have this offer for you today. If you're one of the first 10 callers to qualify, you'll receive a comprehensive retirement plan free of charge with Daryl and his team. The number to call is 402-932-2141. Uh, and this is a huge value for folks who may not have that plan in place, right? That's right. Well, oh, I would think so. 99.99% yeah. uh, of people that come in say, gee whiz, this is a whole mm -hmm. lot different than I've experienced. Yeah, and if you have some retirement questions for Daryl, you can email him questions at omahasretirementstrategist.com. We may just answer that question right here on the Morning Let's Blend. Daryl, thanks right. for your time this morning. Yes, sir. Always good talking to you. I love yeah. seeing your family, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pictures. Yeah, great touch. picture. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you. Daryl. Yeah, you bet. Thanks for And there me. is where you'll find him um, near 163rd in Maple and then online, dbryantretirementstrategies.com. Okay, lose 20 pounds in 40 days.